Hello, hello, and good evening. Jess here, and I'm coming to you after a week of a lot of different things from clients and um, meetings and phone calls and marketing and all sorts of stuff. And it got me thinking of just life stuff, right? Is there ever a point where too much, there's, there's just too much of something? Working with a few of my clients, I have seen an exorbitant amount of different things that are collected from lighters to pens to light bulbs to washcloths and everything in between. And I guess the biggest question is, is how much is too much? Is there ever a point when you really can let go, don't need, etc. so many things. And so I absolutely think there is a point, especially with certain things, when too much is too much. For example, in a household of two people, why do you need over 50 washcloths? These things, we just gather them because we like them and they look pretty and they're practical. And um, the same thing with pens. If you were to find every single pen in your house, how many pens would you have? Would it fill up multiple cups? Maybe a drawer in your desk? What about an entire drawer the size of your dresser? These are things we need to consider because it's very easy for small little things that don't take up a lot of space to consume us and to overwhelm us. And before we know it, we are in the habit of just regularly buying these things because they're on sale or you couldn't find what you were looking for and we don't pay attention. And so when we have gone to the store five years in a row to get poultry seasoning because we couldn't find it last year or this year from last year rather and we never go through our spice cabinet what how like how much more trouble does that cause for us we have a lot of disorganization, extra stuff. We've spent money that we didn't need to spend. There's all of these things that add up. So I'm going to encourage you to pick one item that you think you may buy a little too regularly, whether it's a washcloth, a pen, um, notebooks, journals. These are all some of the things that I see people collecting on a regular basis. And I encourage you to find all of them in your house and put them all together in the same place and go through them and decide, are they all really worth the space that they take up? Because for some items, absolutely they may be. But for some, you may be willing to let go of some stuff. And I encourage you to just try that. See what it feels like. I've had numerous handfuls of people tell me just how wonderful it feels when you finally let go of stuff. So stop being a lizard and filling up all of the space you are given and start understanding what's in your space and whether or not it needs to be there. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. If you like this video or if you know somebody that could use to find an item or two that they tend to collect, please feel free to like, share, comment below with your thoughts, or feel free to send me an email at jessica at toporganizing.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.